Today we'll look at how work can be calculated from the electric potential and vice versa for different scenarios. And now let's look at this first scenario. So if we want to calculate the work done by an external agent to move this charge Q from infinity to this point A in the electric field of these two fixed charges, well what we do is simply multiply the test charge Q by the change in potential between infinity and point A in accordance to this equation. So note that the work done by the external agent is equal to the negative of the work done by the electric field. So the change in potential is simply the potential at the final point minus the potential at the initial point. And recall that at infinity we took our reference potential as zero. So therefore this is equal to Q by VA and we can now calculate the potential at A and multiply by Q. So that's simply equal to 1 over 4 pi by the permittivity constant multiplied by Q1 on the distance from Q1 to Q, the test charge and then we add the contribution of charge 2 to the electric potential. So that would be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by Q2 on a distance from Q2 to point A. And if we simplify this a bit, then we get the work done by the external agent is equal to Q on 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by 1 on D and that's multiplied by Q1 plus Q2. Now suppose I want to calculate the work done by the electric field when a test charge Q is moved from point A to this point B, which is halfway between Q1 and Q2. Well, the work done by the electric field is simply equal to minus Q, the test charge, by the change in electric potential. So this time our change in electric potential is equal to VB minus VA. So let's calculate VB over here. So that's equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. And that's multiplied by Q1 on D on 2 plus Q2 on D on 2. where well, D on 2 is a distance between point B and both of those charges. So if we simplify this a bit further, what we have is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught by 1 on D. And this time we have 2Q1 plus 2Q2. And now we can calculate the change in electric potential between point B and point A. So that's equal to VB, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught D. And that's multiplied by 2Q1 plus 2 by the magnitude of charge 2. And then we subtract VA, which is this expression over here that we got previously. So we factored out these terms, so we can write minus Q1 minus Q2. And now we can calculate the work done by the electric field to move the test charge from point A to point B. So that will be minus the magnitude of the test charge by the change in potential, which is simply minus Q over 4 pi epsilon naught D and multiply by Q1 plus Q2. Now let's look at this second scenario where we have an infinite plate and the electric field of this infinite positively charged plate has a magnitude of the charge density on 2 by the permittivity constant, which we'll prove later on. And what we want to do is find the change in potential when this test charge Q 
is moved from this point to a point at a distance d from the plate. And we can use this relationship to calculate the change in potential. So that will be minus the work done by the electric field on Q. And now to calculate the work done by this electric field, for this special case, where it's uniform or constant, well, we simply multiply the electrostatic force by the distance that the charge is displaced. And remember that the magnitude of charge by the electric field is equal to the electric force, and multiplied by the distance gives us the work done by the electric field. And therefore the change in electric potential between these two points is equal to minus the work done by the electric field, which is QED, on the magnitude of the test charge, which is then minus ED. And given our electric field has this magnitude, which is equal to the charge density over 2 by the permittivity constant, multiplied by the distance that the test charge has been displaced. And that's our result. Now similarly for this special case, where we have two plates that are oppositely charged, and the electric field is thereby constant, or uniform, well we can calculate the change in potential when we displace a charge Q between two points on this plate. So that's equal to the potential at the final point, or the negative plate, minus the potential at the initial point or at the positive plate. And remember the change in electric potential is equal to the negative of the work done by the electric field on the magnitude of the test charge. So what we have is Q by E which is constant by the distance between these plates and then divide that by the magnitude of the test charge and put a negative sign behind it. And therefore we obtain a relationship of V negative minus V positive is equal to negative ED. So this tells us that the electric potential at the positive plate is greater than that than at the negative plate. So the test charge moves from a point of higher potential to a point of lower potential where it's going to have a higher kinetic energy. And we can tell that V plus is bigger than V minus because we've got a negative result on the right. And I'll see you in the next video.